beautiful people and welcome to my channel my name is Timmy I'm Timmy Banjo and this is Timmy Banjo beauty channel my makeup channel and today I'm going to be reviewing I'm going to be reviewing none other than the Lydia Stanley X Zikel palette as you can see I have that on my eyes I have that on my cheeks and I can't wait for you to see I can't wait for you guys to see how I use this palette and how I was shook and shook it and amazed <laughs> I feel so good that I got this palette like I have zero regrets zilch regrets and it has a mirror and I'm talking too much let's just you know dive right into today's video and if it's your first yes if it's your first time here please kindly hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell don't forget to leave comments for your girl follow my socials and please have fun watching this video <laughs> a very big welcome to you this is our platform this is our beauty channel and today i'm going to be reviewing or using slash first impression of none other than the lydia stanley x z kale palette <laughs> yay i literally just got this right now 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 and like the this part just dropped it now and this is the carton this is the eyeshadow still inside the nylon. You guys, what if I told you or what if I tell you that I just got this palette because it has butterflies on it. What if I told you that? Just look at. This is so beautiful because of the butterfly. I also love butterfly and I noticed that Lydia loves butterfly a lot. Like even her backdrop butterfly and I love butterfly a lot so that was what made me purchase this palette and it's so beautiful and guys can we just give her a round of applause for making this palette have a full mirror kudos to you lydia well done so today i'm going to be creating i don't know what look i'm going to be creating and i have my face done already because today is about lydia stanley's palette and only lydia stanley's palette so i'm just going to be doing an eyeshadow look or an eye look so that's what i'm going to be creating today i don't even know what look i'm going to be creating because this palette is so versatile it has colors it has nude so i'm going to start by putting some setting powder in my under eye so i i am um, so i'm able to dust out my fallout Okay, so I moved forward, so we are up close and personal. So I'm going to be start. So I'm going to be starting this look by priming my eyes with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. One thing I love about this palette is how they are named. Like I recognize some of their names. I recognize Layefa, Gunu, Isoken, Ope. Dima, who doesn't know Dima? Precious, who else? Peace. I don't know if it's the piece I'm thinking of. So most of them are like Nigerian names, except 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 for like Milky Way. I don't know if that's anybody's name. Regal could be somebody's name. Umba could be somebody's name. So this is another look at the palette. I wouldn't be able to swatch all colors because this video will be so long and who needs one hour footage so i'm just going to go ahead and start today's look and i'm starting with peace remember to tap away your fallouts wow why are you running why are you running the pigments <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, peace. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I promise you I'm not being dramatic. So I'm going to continue this look with Umba. Umba is like a burnt orange shade and it is so pigmented I don't have space under my brow bone so I'm going to try and use white truffle to you know kind of blend that out 
it's like a shade close to my brow bone this is white truffle here this one here so hopefully So my crease is done and I'm so confused about what to use for my lid because if the crease colors like the matte colors can be this pigmented and not break guys you can imagine how the shimmer colors will be okay I didn't tell you there are shimmers and there are matte colors in this one palette in one palette and I'm going to use the same P. Louise base to cut my crease so I'm going to start by applying the shade Precious. Precious is a golden color. It's the second color on the palette, the top, the uppermost part. One, two. After Milky Way is Precious, it's a very bright, real, like ivory, silver color together, like it's mixed. So that's what I'm going to use in my inner corner. This eyeshadow glitter. Lydia, tell us. Do you mix it together? This is glitter. Glitter. This is glitter. Glitter. So I'm going to continue this look with gold chain. Gold is like a really, really bright gold color. I know who will love this color. My best friend. She loves gold. To end this look or to end this lid color i'm going to go in with um dima i'm going to go in with dima it's a bronze gold shade and i'm going to put that at the corner of my eye yeah I'm just confused as to how to smoke out the corner of my eye because I can see black here it's called risky and I'm like if I put this black it will cover my whole face because the pigments in the matte colors alone are so I'll just do a bit of risky and peace I'll do like one tap of risky and two taps of peace and put that to, you know like to smoke the corner of my eye so one tap of risky two types of peace okay. Oh, okay this looks fine it looks fine so i'm just going to blend this out and you know look cute look cute so i'm just going to recreate this eye look here here and i'll be back to finish the look okay I'm back with both eyes and I'm going to um, smoke out the bottom of my eyes on camera and if you're wondering yes I put um eyeshadow base in my waterline just down my waterline like on my eyelash lower lash and I'm waiting for it to dry up because I noticed that when P. Louise dries up it works better that's because it's a water-based um, eyeshadow base which is a good thing whereas if it was oil base <laughs> when it dries it shines anyways i'm going to go in with risky and peace mixed together so i'm going to continue with umba to like smoke out the ends and blend everything out connecting with the top eye shadow so I'm going to use my Zara mascara now 
and like prep my eyelashes for my fall feed. So I'm using the Mismetics eyelashes in is Honey and it is a uh, mink lashes. So to finish this look, I'm going to use gold coin as my highlight. Then I'm going to use umber and peace, the ones I used in my crease. I'm going to use that as my blush. And if you're wondering, yes, I use the same brush for my highlight and blush. Don't judge me. Oh, you're shocked to see me in this form. He <laughs> shocked you. I morphed. Lydia said we should feel free to morph from a caterpillar to a butterfly this is my butterfly format okay anyways i'm so impressed i'm hugely impressed with the zikel x lydia palette and i am looking for it because <laughs> i dropped it somewhere this is the finished look for the palette and i am in awe and amazement i have it on my eyes and i have it on my cheeks as blush and highlights the duality of this palette so this is the palette here i'm not sure when i'm going to take off this lilac part just allow me enjoy the palette and i am so impressed with how my um eyeshadow came out my blush my highlight it's melted into my skin even though i used a setting spray to like you know melt it out but i don't know i don't i, I can't keep on talking and talking and talking you have to get this palette for yourself and see what i'm saying and it's only it retails for only five thousand naira and delivery around my area was one thousand naira so that's 6k that's fair for me that's pretty pretty fair and like i talked about the duality of this palette as a makeup artist as a person who does like an enthusiast if you are doing makeup on yourself alone or you're just somebody who just likes makeup and you need a palette this is like your palette this should be your like lifetime palette because you can have this for your party everyday look whatsoever whatsoever it is it has so many colors can we to create many other looks with this palette so i think we've come to the end of this video or we've come to the end of this video and if you made it up to this point i cannot express how grateful i am that you made it up to this point thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in my next bye, bye.